Cosmos ecosystem and the Polkadot ecosystem both are a force to be reckoned with because they both offer interoperability and cross-chain functionalities. In this video, I'll start episode 4 out of a 5-episode series showcasing products that offer very similar features from each of the two ecosystems, which will hopefully help you understand how they work. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to Crypto's Chain. My name is Claudio. In this product comparison video, I'll look at two major privacy blockchains of two different ecosystems, Secret Network from Cosmos and Manta Network from Polkadot. Both are L1 blockchains built on top of these two major layer zero blockchains. A link to both of these can be found in the description of this video if you want to check them out yourself. Before I begin, I just want to make it clear that this isn't meant to favor one over the other but is to showcase some of the differences of privacy platforms offering similar features and how one can learn from the other. Looking at the Manta Network website first, they offer a modular blockchain for ZK applications. And just in case you're not aware, ZK stands for zero knowledge and applies to the privacy concept. Now the team also added an image showing how Manta Network sits as a layer one on top of Polkadot and as a layer two on top of Celestia. On Secret Network's website, it tells us that with more privacy, we get limitless possibilities and that Secret Network is the first blockchain with customizable privacy and we get to choose what to share with whom and how. There's also a button where we can learn more about how it works, but also something that we've seen with Stargaze in a previous comparison episode where they give you the chance to buy their SCRT coin, which empowers the Secret Network blockchain. This is one big difference I've noticed between Polkadot and Cosmos L1s where one doesn't advertise coin purchases while the other does when it comes to the core features of each one. Manta Network offers low fees with high scalability and they're also developer friendly and app agnostic which includes Web2 apps so they're not limited to Web3 and devs can also use universal circuits which means that if they already use Solidity based smart contracts they can call ZK enabled ones which have the privacy features that Manta offers. Manta also offers KYC verification in a trustless way through ZKS BTS and Secret Network pride themselves with the two different features, Secret DeFi and Secret NFTs. And with Secret DeFi, you can control and access your assets and with Secret Tokens and Apps while avoiding hacks and front running. Secret NFTs allows you to take control of your creativity, which means selectively reveal content and ownership. With Secret NFTs to control access, create hidden features, to surprise the community and make art and entertainment not possible elsewhere. The team also created an option to get started building by accessing their tools. Uh, one of the differences between Manta and Secret is that Secret also offers an ecosystem with a wide variety of L2 dApps built on top, such as the popular card game Blackjack, also Bushy, a third person shooter, Actilist, the interactive NFT marketplace with secret auctions, and even a private messaging app. And there are so many other dubs that they're split by category from NFTs to DeFi to social media, communications, and games. When it comes to staking, Manta Network doesn't offer it, but they do have a Canary Network, which is almost like a copy of how Manta will be like once they launch. With less features where testing is taking place within a live network called Calamari Network, which is built on Kusama, Polkadot's Canary. Because they're the first to have launched from back in 2021, Calamari also have a dashboard with a staking feature. Their DAP allows a bridge to cross-chain transfer from other parachains, also, also called L1 blockchains, as well as swap from public tokens to privacy-based tokens, which the ZK prefix gets assigned to. Staking with an average APY of about 23% is also possible. However, you can also find some collators offering 37% APY, as well as some very low ones like 8%. It all depends how many have staked with them. Secret Network also offers staking and it can be accessed directly from the main page, which takes you to their dashboard, where you can see the APR is about 21.6%. means the APY should be even higher, of around 28 to 30% if you decide to auto compound. The IBC feature for cross-chain transfers can also be accessed from the dashboard, as well as bridging, wrapping to convert to the privacy-based SCRT coin, as well as auto restake, transfer out and access the L2 dApps. When it comes to the dApps that allow the swap feature between normal tokens and ZK ones, you can see that both Manta's and Secret ones look very similar, with the Manta one adding the ZK prefix to the tokens, while the Secret one adding the S prefix. For tokenomics, Manta will have 1 billion total supply with no inflation apparently, and SCRT supply is infinite because of inflation and 
211 million are currently reported to be in circulation with a market cap of $7 million and a fully diluted market cap of $70 million, though that doesn't make much sense given the supply is unlimited. So we'll go with the currently low market cap of $7 million with what's in circulation. This was it from the fourth episode of Product Comparisons. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the like. Drop a comment below with anything you want to add in. Follow me on Twitter or join the Telegram community. Both of those links can be found in the description of this video. I'll see you in the next one.